Hello toy fans and collectors, this is your girl PJ and welcome to my channel Fats Toys. Uh, over the weekend I went to a flea market and I really wasn't looking for any toys but I did find this table uh, with a, a lady and her mother uh, selling uh, uh, figures. Uh, more so they call them toys. Uh, they made a deal with a collector and got a whole bunch of figures at a reasonable price. And she just wanted to sell them. So once I had told her that I was a collector, she was saying that uh, they were selling for like four and five dollars. But I told her I was going to buy uh, several figures. So she said uh, uh, each figure would cut down three dollars. So the figures I'm about to show you guys, I got for three dollars. I picked up about eight, nine figures. So I'm going to get started. The first figure you see here uh, is uh, WWF Signature Series Kane. Uh, this is actually my first uh, wrestling figure. I do not own any wrestling figures. This is supposed to be an official autograph right here, autograph figure. So uh, if this is Kane's signature, I do not know. If anybody knows that Kane actually signs this way, please let me know. But this is an awesome figure and a nice base of the WWF uh, uh, series here. And you couldn't beat it. You could not beat it. She had so many figures. She had, once she, I told her that I was a collector, she just was ripping out boxes. And we were talking about 15 figures in each box. So she had to have about 60 or 70 uh, figures. Mainly wrestling. Uh, this was the only signature one that I saw. Spawn, tons of Spawn. Star Wars figures. Uh, you, you guys are going to see uh, exactly what I picked up. So. The next figure is uh, actually by Kenner, 1997, so we're talking about a good 13, 14 years here of figures. This is Star Wars, Power of the Force, Princess Leia, again, and Ewok Celebration Outfit. And of course she comes with a freeze frame. So you know that these guys are back in the day. <laughs> And uh, I'm like, you can't beat this. So I was pretty much going crazy trying to get these figures. Of course, this is the bottom of it with the different colors. They came in for collection one. And uh, this is Princess Leia herself, which ex back in the day, they didn't make that many, you know, females. Females were the first ones to get besides the variants. And, of course, you see the Kenner collection. So this is way before Hasbro took over. And here's the back. I'm like, it was, uh, I felt like I, when she told me it was going to be $3 a piece, I was like, call an ambulance, <laughs> please. I tried not to get too excited, but it was, uh, it was the, the best day ever. The next figure is, again, 1997 Kenner, uh, Power of the Force, Princess Leia, Organa as Jabra's Prisoner. And I remember this figure being really hard to come by. The collectors were really grabbing this figure. This was very popular with the collectors. And I never really got a chance to uh, pick this figure up. But until today. <laughs> Normally when I go to flea markets, I just look around, but not too many people uh, have figures that are op uh, you know, closed. They normally have them open. So this is a great opportunity to uh, add these figures to my collection. The next figure is another favorite from 1996. Another Power of the Force. Han Solo in Carbonite with Carbonite Freezing Chamber. When I tell you I've been looking for this figure for years. Very popular figure, could never, never find him. And to pick him up for three dollars, and of course the chamber is right behind him. You can see the little sticker still on there. I was so excited. I was just going through those boxes. He had a lot of, of, of spawn. We had three talking about lots and lots of spawn. I'm thinking at least about 50 pieces of spawn. But spawn, for anybody that collects spawn figures, spawn figures are huge. And, of course, I did not have that kind of room at all. So, this is an awesome figure as well. Uh, the next figure I picked up is uh, 1998 again. This is 
Star Wars Episode 1 Darth Maul Jedi do with double bladed lifesavers very nice figure exciting figure uh, look at the lifesavers double size and it comes with a contact chip so uh, I, I do own a contact reader so I did hear the voices of it but uh, that's another video <laughs> and of course this collection is yellow at the bottom collection one this this is where it started right here this guy he was bad he was bad the fighting scenes and I love I love how this uh, look at the eyes and the face excellent awesome artwork on this this card back he was also a uh, a very popular popular figure I just love how the detail of his face and everything I was like give me more <laughs> please definitely here's the Comtech reader which I do own it and here's the figures from the episode one uh, movie so I do own something from episode one uh, figure wise but uh, very nice and uh, another figure I picked up from again 1997 Power of the Force Dark Vader with removable helmet and lifesaver another very popular figure as well and it comes with a, a freeze frame it's from the Kenner collection and you see at the bottom the colors are like collection 3 so it's, they're blue very awesome and these figures I don't even never own so uh, to add them in my collection it's like well and a great price a really great price I'm sorry I didn't uh, seen her sooner and I'm surprised that these figures were still sitting in the box guess people really didn't uh, check them out till after I you know once I got there everybody wanted to come and try to grab them but I did get uh, a lot of the good ones now these three or uh, yeah, three three uh, figures are big so and they are very <laughs> exciting figures uh, the first figure keep in mind these figures are all three dollars is this one right here the rebuild of Darth Vader I never even seen this figure I remember seeing it as a, a battle pack but with the other droids but wow to get this figure for three dollars it's the cape and then his uh, I guess the, the, the computer chip that puts in his chest and his helmet and of course the lifesaver and the table which the table actually swivels out amazing I snatched this figure up so fast very nice and here's the back of it right here I can't believe that everything that, <laughs> Of course, it doesn't come with the uh, the medical droid that was so separately. I think the battle pack has two uh, two figures in it. I'm not certain. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this. <laughs> I love this figure. Outstanding. Now the next figure is not actually a Star Wars figure, but uh, I could not resist. By buying this figure, I did not realize that uh, Silver Surfer had a series. So when I seen these figures, I was like, really like shocked. Uh, these figures are from 1997 Silver Surfer series by Marvel Comics. And here is the figure that I'm talking about, Silver Surfer. The figure is so huge, I can't even get him in the frame itself there's the the logo if I were to put this up so you guys can see look at the figure I couldn't believe how huge this figure was and still in the case it's the 30th uh, anniversary series Marvel Collector's Edition amazing this is how big this figure is this is the back of it. Silver Surfer. And these are the figures that uh, hit the board where it came in instructions and 
these are the other figures that uh, came in the uh, the series and collect uh, like six is from toy biz so really really huge now I'm going to show you guys I do have a Marvel Universe uh, three and the three uh, quarter uh, inch figures just to show you comparison of how huge this figure really is okay look at that you can see the difference of this figure being huge I couldn't believe that this figure was still sitting in the box so this is the Marvel Universe and this is the Silver Surfer figure <laughs> amazing amazing I was pretty much in shock <laughs> so definitely had to pick this figure up very popular figure let me put this right here for three dollars couldn't beat it at all the next figure you guys it's just so ironic that this figure is in the same box and nobody picked this figure up I never owned this figure until today and it was like I'm um, pretty much uh, match made in heaven for this figure Galactus Galactus guys look how huge this Galactus is as you can see it does come with a small uh, silver surfer in a bubble but it did uh, somewhat bust out so I mean it's 1997 so it did bust out but this is Galactus in the same box I couldn't believe it next to the Silver Surfer the figure looks fine there's nothing wrong with the figure at all Galactus is huge and for three dollars and for three dollars I couldn't believe that these figures were together this is actually 1998 so this came like a year later but still it's been a long time Two figures, awesome figures, made for each other, put together in the same box for three dollars. Can't beat it. It was very exciting, exciting flea market for me. I enjoyed it and got all these figures for uh, twenty-four dollars. Amazing flea market definitely have to do some more so you guys I hope you enjoyed this video of my first uh, flea market uh, toy haul it was a, a great it was a great great uh, flea market for me and I enjoyed it too bad I couldn't buy them all but I did pick out the best ones so guys I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel rate comment as much as you like and I see you guys real real soon enjoy collecting keep collecting and I'm just have fun with it. I also have a tech channel, you guys. It's uh, Fat Jaws for You. If you want to check that channel out as well, please do so. Enjoy yourselves, guys, and have fun. Later.